Hello, Sagittarius. Oh, George says hello as well, my rooster. And welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess Tarot, Pentacle 10, Venus Virgo has come out. We are looking at something very, very stable in your life, stability, security. Uh, this could even be a legacy. <laughs> George is like, yeah. So this reading is for March the 1st through to the 15th. So we are in Pisces season uh, and We'll see how this goes, fellow mutable sign. So this reading is also for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you the fuller picture of what is going on for you, Sagittarius. And this is a general reading. Sagittarius, just take what feels right and leave the rest. And if it does really resonate, there will be an extended reading and the link for that will be in the description box below. And also letting you know, Sagi, that I've opened up to personal readings. So the link for that is also in the description box below. So let's Let's see what else is coming in. George is being very vocal in your reading at this moment in time. There's something, something coming in that he wants to pay attention to. The Hermit card has come in with Mercury, Virgo and Mercury twice with the Pentacle 10. Hmm. Interesting. Do you need to take a break <laughs> from something you've been working on, you've been building and putting a lot of effort into? Do you need to take a bit of a break? So there's some wisdom coming to you about something that seems very solid in your life or about your security. So let's come in. Let's see. I feel like there's messages coming to you, which is, yeah, going to be interesting, interesting. And yeah, I keep getting, take a, <laughs> need to take a break. So what else is coming through for Sagittarius? Finally, we've got another one. Okay, we've got Wand King Leo Crown. Okay, so, you know, this is a fantastic energy, the Wand, Queen, um, the Wand King Leo Crown, because this is, you know, your fellow fire sign, but this is around leadership. So, and it can be around creativity. So uh, it's an energy of express, expressing yourself, being very generous with yourself, uh, taking action on your passions and things that ignite you and excite you. So uh, it's, I feel like you've been exerting a lot of energy and creativity and passion into something uh, that's coming in and yeah, a lot of wisdom coming. So let's pull, what else does Sagittarius need to know about this? So this could be a time of um, great inspiration, actually. It could be a time of great inspiration, but it just keeps saying uh, you might need to just retreat uh, to regather your energy, your creative energy or whatever it is that's kind of driving you at this moment with this Wand King. It's about new goals being set. <laughs> so let's see. The star card, beautiful. So this is hope for the future, feeling a lot more hopeful. Crossed by the two of cups, there is potentially a relationship that is um, blocking that though. Harmony, the page of pen. Oh, we had the tower, surprise. There's some sort of surprise development happening here. Boom. Okay, with something that you've been working on and developing in terms of making money. So a product or a uh, a project or something to do with your workplace, there's something coming in <laughs> uh, that you thought was stable, but there's boom, there's an interesting surprise coming in. Okay. Could be a moment, a flash of insight and inspiration. In the recent past, the herm, the, the world, sorry, uh, something completes. The near future, the three of swords. Okay, we'll have to pull another card for that. You are presenting as the ace of swords. Uh the emperor is around you, so this is uh, powerful people. The ten of cups, you want your happiness. And what is the outcome going to be? The four of cups, okay. Whew. Okay, I think that you something has been shaken up where you thought it was being something you really wanted, you were stable, you're not sure about it, something's on offer. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
And here you are. Look, you came in twice, the, the Knight of Wands and the Temperance energy. Whew. Okay, Saji. So potentially if you're in a relationship with somebody else, there's something to do with um, joint finances or even to do with your partner's job that could be unexpected that comes in around here. It's like you've been with the star card crossed by the two of cups. This is wanting to feel more hopeful for the future, but is not as much as you try and hope and, you know, you want wishes coming to tr coming true. It feels like it does feel like it's being hindered by somebody here. Uh, somebody's potentially standing in the way or a relationship is potentially standing in the way. And I don't actually feel like it. I mean, this is a partnership of some sort that is, it, it's kind of like somebody's bringing you down a little bit uh, through it's this feels like outside circumstances hitting you uh, which you have to adapt to uh, with this so and this is where the ten of wands is you potentially have been taking on too much responsibility maybe you've been overworking <laughs> we see that you need to take a break maybe you've taken on too much of a burden or responsibility in terms of um, bringing stability into uh, your world or with other people around. Um, now, this doesn't work with Saggy energy. It really doesn't because uh, Sagittarius needs its freedom. Uh, so if this is kind of like you've been stuck in a really boring routine <laughs> or you've just been, I feel like there's somebody not necessarily pulling their weight here or like not you but uh, somebody else, this, there's a partnership energy or somebody does something unexpected that kind of puts a bit of a spanner in the work with some things. Um, so it's kind of like interestingly with the tower energy, it's what I see is that this is actually, whilst there's something unexpected that occurred in terms of something you thought was stable, um, I actually see this is also flashes of inspiration like that are coming through that can bring in something that can create stability because there's been, I mean, your money, I'm kind of getting your money house is being shaken up a fair bit at this moment. And so there's Uranus like is just kind of doing all sorts of crazy stuff at this moment and trining it. So there's... Um, I mean, the tower represents Uranus. It's sort of um, a lot of sh uh, change, disruptive change that comes in. But yeah, I feel like uh, it's kind of it's kind of like you get a no, and then you immediately can step into something that is a yes. <laughs> so uh, this is kind of like an eclipse-like energy that's happening. Like something ends unexpectedly, and something starts. So. There's um, interesting energy around it. The world card would suggest that there has been something has completed in the recent past. Uh, so, and potentially this is not even for you. Potentially this is for this partnership here, which uh, kind of takes the sheen off the feeling a little bit more hopeful for the future energy. Uh, and it's kind of like maybe they finished up with a job or maybe they finished, you know, there's something that there's a cycle completing, which put a lot more pressure onto you for whatever reason at this moment in time. So in the near future, we've got the Three of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. You know, this is take a break, <laughs> absolutely take a break, Sagittarius. Um, there's You've been carrying around too much. There's a heaviness here that you need to let go of. And, yeah, the Three of Swords, something is kind of potentially there's been a pain point, something has potentially been hurting you or has hurt you and I, I can see it's something you've carried around that has created that burden, that heavy burden energy. And the Knight of Pentacles is kind of saying slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Uh, yeah, slow down, take a break. You have achieved, you've actually achieved some good stuff here with this Pentacle 10 Venus Virgo. You know, you've, you've achieved some good results and there is a sense that the universe wants you to, yeah, take a break. There, Things are chugging along in terms of the long-term energy, but, um, yeah, there's some things inside. I think, you know, you are presenting as the Ace of Swords, so you're seeing the situation super clearly now. You are seeing the situation super clearly where I feel like you have kind of, you've, 
even though it's there's a part of you that has stepped out of alignment um it's gone out of alignment <laughs> is kind of what i'm getting and so it's wanting you to connect back into this so the energy around you is the emperor. So this is somebody who's very good at asserting what they want, somebody very powerful and successful. Uh, now this is potentially it can be you stepping into your authority, you know, having to be it's kind of very bossy energy, boss-like energy. Uh, it could have been that there were a lot of rules and regulations or a lot of um, uh, people in authority that you've had to deal with for whatever reason. Now, this could just be someone really strong around you asserting their will over you or assert, putting their foot down and going, I'm not doing that for whatever reason. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. Unexpected energy is the emperor energy is potentially I mean, this could also be that a partner got a job and then there was a lot more pressure on you. Maybe they lost a job, maybe they've got a job, but there's a sense that uh, there is, and it doesn't matter if you're single, um, it just feels like there is, there's someone around you, a partnership. It doesn't have to be love partnership. It can be a work partnership where maybe somebody got promoted or maybe you've got promoted and the pressure's on, no matter what's happened, because um, this could be both, either or you or happening to somebody else. Someone's kind of um, leveled up in status here. <laughs> you know, they've become really powerful. And so that, again, has put a lot of pressure on you. So your hopes and fears, you've got the Ten of Cups. Well, obviously, this is happiness, <laughs> long-term happiness, so that would be a hope. But you're kind of, here you are. Um, something is on offer here and you're not sure if you want it. You're really not sure uh, because there is potentially a shift and change in routine that comes through with some of this as well. So there's something is rumbling deep inside about perhaps a situation not necessarily being fair as well. Uh, so you can kind of see both sides. Something's on offer. You're not sure whether you need to say no to it or not. Uh, so, yeah, kind of interesting. And for some of you, this page of pentacles in the tower is an opportunity that comes out of the blue. So, yeah, an opportunity that comes out of the blue and you're going to be working. I just get you're going to be working um, a lot. Uh, so there is a lot happening here, but it's kind of like you need to say no to some things uh, and there's some sort of unexpected development that occurs that brings you back into alignment, which is actually really nice. So with the temperance energy, this is the Sagittarius energy and we have the Knight of Wands, which is the card of Sagittarius as well. So it's coming back to yourself. The temperance is about balance uh, and it's about um, bringing balance and harmony. But it's, gee, it's a bit of a bumpy ride to get there. It's unexpected. There's things coming up and you're not sure because whenever the tower card comes in, when you're in the middle of it, it's like, what, what, what's happening here? I don't understand. Uh, I'm not sure if I want this. And then whenever the dust settles, you go, okay, this is actually going to be better for me. This is actually going to bring in more harmony. This is better for my health. I need to look after my health if this is a message that's coming through. and But it's coming back into alignment with some longer-term goals. So I do feel like potentially uh, the goalposts in terms of your security and the longer-term goal is shifting, uh, not necessarily in a bad way, just more in an unexpected way. So it's, uh, yeah, the temperance energy is coming back into alignment, which is really, really nice. And I, I kind of feel like some of you might need to speak your truth as well. You might need to speak up. <laughs> uh, with you seeing things clearly and I feel like it's, um, you know, once you know or once you see or once you get this kind of information, it's you have to eventually take action on it. So we have uh, as a overall energy the Knight of Wands, which is again Sagittarius energy, and this is positive change, moving on, getting your your passion, your spark back, uh, 
coming back to being saggy, having a little bit of fun, being spontaneous again, uh, stepping into freedom where it felt like you were really burdened. But it's kind of like whatever this unexpected thing happens is that it's kind of like I don't know if this means freedom or not. Um, it's a question mark over it, but eventually you see that this is better. Um, so you do step into that freedom. It just doesn't, um, you're not sure. It's just hard to see um, whether that's right or not at first. So, yeah, it's it's interesting. There's some unexpected energies at play here, but ultimately, like I said, it's kind of got a bit of an interesting eclipse-like energy. And definitely coming back to yourself, which is good. So let's see where this, let's get an affirmation card. We've got, I accept my uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison for we are all different and meant to be that way. I'm special and wonderful. I love myself. Now, the other thing that's coming in with this is this could be like a brilliant idea that flashes in and it's very original that you something you're developing here, something that um, could make money. Absolutely. Uh, so that's something that's coming through as well. We'll see where this is going. And this one says, I am worth loving. I do not have to earn love. I am lovable because I exist. Others reflect the love I have for myself. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful coming in for you, Saji. So let's see. We've got the fairy and I got if you believe. So this is it um, with the star card and the two of cups. There's something that you're wanting that you don't believe is going to happen. So for some of you that are single, this is a relationship. It's kind of like, I don't believe this is going to happen. I don't believe in fairy tales. I don't believe in true love kind of energy that comes through. And there is a sense that you're wanting a wish to come true, but there's an energy around ideas around relationship or a particular relationship in particular in your life that is kind of blocking yourself from believing that. And it is bringing up a few interesting little wounds, but ultimately it's letting go of a belief system that things are not going to work out or that or trust and faith in the universe. And so ultimately there is a sense of freeing yourself from an energy. Uh, yes, there is the wisdom of experience that's coming through here. Plus also there is a sense of taking a break, uh, some need to take a break, but coming back to yourself. So the fairy energy it's light, it's free, it's uh, if you believe. So that's kind of the energy that's coming through for you, Sagittarius. That is the reading. So I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. We're going to look at what's coming in after this alignment comes through and there's unexpected development. Where this is all going, is this something to do with a new relationship coming in or is this something to do with a job opportunity? Because it is the Page of Pentacles, but it's vulnerable. Whatever it is, it's kind of cracked open something you thought was solid, uh, possibly opened up a wound temporarily, uh, something you've had to look at. But then in that process, and it can make you feel really vulnerable even, in that process, there's a sense of kind of realigning you back and there's an opportunity here to, um, it's kind of like this seed, this unique original seed that is being um, revealed to you here, <laughs> this idea or whatever it is that you are presenting, um, and this could potentially be a relationship like we said, it, you would never have seen it if you'd stayed in your general mode, your MO mode. It's, the universe had to bring the tower in so that you were in a different kind of energy, unexpected energy where you were open to something new. And I feel like it cracked open something that you could now connect in with this page of pentacles energy. So you're developing something new, which is very exciting. So this could be new feelings developing. This could be a new idea for to be making money, like I said, but there is just so much that could come out of this and there's just something unexpected with it. So I'm curious to know where this is going. So we're going to look at the near future and the future beyond in the extended reading. 
as well as any extra intuitive messages or clarifiers that we need. And we're also going to tune into career, money, love and relationships and ask some cards specifically for that. So that's all in the extended reading. The link is in the description box below. Love it if you come over Sagittarius. Uh, if not, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and take care.